Hello, everyone, and welcome to the epic conclusion. The first time ever that I'm actually finishing up a full playthrough here with you on Retro React on my DSP Throwback channel. So this is pretty special. You know, for the last month and a half, every single Sunday night, I've been here live with an audience to react to the classic Heavy Rain playthrough from 2010. It's been an absolute blast. We've had laughs. We've cringed together. <laughs> now it's time for us to finish it up, all right? I predict probably another five parts to finish it. It seems to have taken about two to two and a half hours every week. And we have about 10 parts left in the playthrough. Well, it's nine parts, and then it's my final reaction uh, kind of summary. So I think it's going to be about as long as it's been up to now. Of course, what I'd like to do at the end is tell you my final thoughts 14 years later about not only the game, but my old playthrough style and stuff like that. All right? And uh, you guys are an awesome audience. If anyone contributes, I'll give you a shout-out tonight. Uh, let's begin. Here we go. All right, back to Madison. So what happened to her after she warned Ethan... That's right. She warned Ethan at the motel. She has no place to go. She has to go back there. to her apartment. But we don't right? know what happened to her after that. We have no idea where she went, right? I got kind-hearted as a trophy because I didn't kill him. Kind-hearted trophy? Oh, kind-hearted because Shelby did not kill Joe Biden. That's why he got the kind-hearted trophy. He actually saved Friday, his life with the a.m. 4.998 inches. Fresh off the scene from the Fast and the Furious 4. Wow, that was a joke back then. In 2010, saying the Fast and the Furious 4 was a joke. Now, there's what, like 17 of those movies or something? So now, like, the joke doesn't even make sense. You're like, four? Why only four? Right? Wow. <laughs> only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Hope I'm not wasting my time. What is she doing here? Jen Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. How does she know where the mother lives? Hello. Do I'm how does she know where the mother lives? How is this explained in the plot? I'm trying to remember. So we know that Scott Shelby knows about John Shepard because they they cross-referenced origami and typewriters and all that information, and they went to the grave site. They found the grave, right? And then Basically, Shelby just interrogated Joe Biden. I'm going to keep calling him Joe Biden because I can't remember his real name. And he revealed that he was the one who owned the site where the accident happened, but he was not the father of John Shelby. <laughs> Excuse me, John Shelby. John Shepard is what I meant to say. So, there you go. Now, where did she get the information from? She did get it, right? I believe in the plot she does get it. But where does she get it from? How did she get it to go to the hospital? This I'm forgetting the link between when she got that information. Does anyone remember? No, we know how Jaden knows. Jaden's going to get information as a result of his investigation at the club, as you'll see. Oh, that's right. Wasn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Wasn't it? She interrogated, uh, she interrogated Paco. And Paco told her, John Shepard, remember? He said his name was John Shepard, the guy who he rented the apartment from, or, or yeah, so or the guy who rented the apartment from him or whatever. So she used the name John Shepard, cross-referenced it, and found, I guess, a remaining relative of John Shepard. I think that's what the plot is. I, I, it's hard for me to follow because now we've had a couple weeks and I'm trying to remember exactly what happened in each scene, right? Anyway, here she is. She's at a hospital. Uh, I received a $2.25 tip. For Mr. Puffy Nipples, I remember when Heavy Rain released, I had a fat PS3. PlayStation was having issues with loading games. Do you remember that? I think it was only for Pat PS PS3. I never. I think PSN had issues for like a week. Uh, I I had the original Fiat PS3 before they went slim, and I never had a problem with it until tons of years later. I got the yellow light of death, which means the graphics card uh broke. Um, I never had any issue loading games on my PS3 or anything like that. If you're referencing PSN being down, that has nothing to do with the har hardware of the console or loading games <laughs> at all. Back then, everything was on disc. You needed the disc to load a game regardless, right? <clears throat> okay, thank you for the tip. Biggest contribution of the night so far. Michael Kinn says, John Shepard, are we playing Mass Effect? It's it's funny enough, you know, if you use the default name in Mass Effect, it's John Shepard, right? It's just Commander Shepard, but I think the default name is John. So this is the default name of Mass Effect, which is kind of funny. Okay. 
and Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Uh, how does she know? Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. <laughs> With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. And so was, do you remember how totally PS3? How do you remember how PS3 sounded like an engine? I mean, PS3 was incredibly loud at the time. It was way louder than the Xbox 360. But then last console gen, like everything was loud. Like every console was loud as shit. Even PS4 was even worse than PS3. How did she learn that Anne Shepard was in the hospital? When the hell did I miss this fucking part? There you go. Right. Want a fucking some curly fries or some shit out of there? What curly fries. fries. I love hot fries. <laughs> Early prize in a vending machine? Room 19. See, so even back then I was confused. Like, where do we get the logic jump? All she got the she all she got was the name John Shepard from Paco. That's it. How did she make the logic jump? That John Shepard has a relative named Ann Shepard who's staying at the hospital and then she goes to investigate. That's a really weird logic jump in my opinion. McMad Review says maybe he had an obituary in the newspaper or online that said survived by mother. I mean, maybe. Maybe. It's a it's a long shot. And it's never explained. I don't think. Where is that? Well, those aren't orchids. Orchids. Are they? Uh oh, uh, orchids. That's what the origami 13, killer leaves behind. Orchids. <clears throat> Seventeen. This one on the right. Nineteen. Well, hold on. Who's this bitch? What the? Why call? Why'd I call her that? It's messed up, man. This is so Who the fuck there? are you? Old Granny Goodwitch. All right, time for some plot. So, Anne, you remember that dead son of yours? <laughs> yeah, you remember his twin brother? Hello, He's Mr. a serial Shepherd. killer. Isn't that great news? <laughs> Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. <laughs> the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... Poor Anne. All alone with no one to look after her. My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Oh, Jesus. Can this be any more depressing? I know. Holy That's fuck, super man. Depressing. Here we go again with this shit. Super sad. Sad ass music. An old woman with fucking Alzheimer's. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He's a good little boy, you know. Oh, my God. Now she don't even know that she's dead. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. She stylishly leans against the wall, right? Uh, yes, Lady Charisma, we talked about this last week, that the, the devs of Quantic Dream are actually fully French and not French-Canadian. Uh, totally my fault that, uh, you know, that I got that wrong. I thought, I swear they were French-Canadian, but no, they're fully French, which is why some of the things in the game are kind of odd. Like, why would, it's not like that in America, but that's why they're off, so. And John, yeah. and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? Oh my it's God. It's time for my pills. Let's give her some Tic Tacs, tell her their pills. Try to remember, <laughs> Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? The Falkinsons. I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. <laughs> oh, my God. Slap this bitch. <laughs> oh, my God, Your man. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? Oh, I have no other son. Remember, she has old time, so she children. can't remember. What the fuck? Great. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. 
He never came to see me. Can you believe it? Huh. In ten years, never. Oh, wait, there's an origami book she's no sitting one on. forgets their mother, Dude. do they? She's sitting on a fucking origami book. Did you see that shit when she sat on it? It said origami. But I can't pick it up or look at it yet. What the hell? Huh. Uh. Alright, so something about origami's going on here. Alright, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. What? That's giving up pretty quick. Alright, no point in wasting oh my, my God. time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. It is, definitely. Must be some way to get her to remember. Michael Caine says, when I was a kid, I accidentally broke my grandmother's dentures and fixed them in secret with super glue and my chiclet gum. I got the idea from Dennis the Menace movie. Walter Matthau. That's terrible. I don't believe you, by the way. <laughs> I don't believe that. No way that happened. I was going to say, what about the origami right fucking there, dude? Yeah, look. What the? Oh, my God. <laughs> controls. I'm supposed to tell I was going to close it. The crane. The hummingbird. The cunning lingus. Oh, come on. The frog. The bat. So now on the first I try, the that shit back she's going to fold it perfectly. I fucking frog. <laughs> I don't want the fucking... What will make her remember? I don't want the, the fucking frog. The hummingbird. Or the crane. What do you think? What have we seen? I think we've seen the dog before, haven't we? The dog looks the hardest. Yes, you want to know where you find oh, that God, dog? It's just kind of a really, this is kind of a really obscure reference. But if you don't remember that, we found a origami dog. I believe it was on the grave of John Shepard, and I also believe there was an origami dog in Ethan's hand at one point during the game, during one of his blackouts. So, let's do the hummingbird. I don't remember the crane at all. The frog. How many pieces of the dog. You're in here. Frog. Hold down the circle, then hold down the down. Oh yeah. Because this is obviously how you do origami. See, how now, brown cow? You say, log, frog, dog, dog. Origami. But that's not my favorite one. What? Oh. I wasn't making it for you. you think you I really care? You try over and over, aren't you? I doubt it's the crane. How about the frog? A frog. The frog oh, ball. chances, right? There's two more pieces of origami <laughs> paper there. Let's try the frog. Oh, there's three. You can do all of them. <laughs> so it's not even like any challenge to it. You just keep asking, I guess. The frog. Here it is. Frog. That's how you pronounce it. And the what sport... about the froggy frog? Who doesn't like the sport of golf? Golf and I frogs. Oh, fucking Christ. But that's not my favorite one. That's what the not... fuck is your favorite one? She's... Then tell me. She's a frog hater. You're going to make me do it again. Tell me. it takes take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. Oh, wait a minute. The, it is the crane. Look, there's a hundred of them. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. Who did? I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Uh-huh. Ha-ha-ha. Uh -huh. These are your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? Tweedledum. My other son? I only had one son. My little John. <laughs> He really doesn't remember the other son. Fucking shit. All right, let's make the crane. Now we know it's the crane. The most easy one. The first fucking page. I was supposed to know that. Hurry up before she goes completely senile. Make that shit. Uh. We're going to have to give her some Jolt Cola so she remembers. I used to drink Jolt Cola back then. That's why I made that reference. <laughs> Get the defibrillators out and shock her brain until she fucking remembers the guy's name. <laughs> wonder if the doctors will approve. Finally. Here it is. You're really I shitty at that. I love origami. 
But that's not my favorite one. Oh my god. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. It's <laughs> not the right one. one left. <laughs> it the was, dog. It was the dog. Not the frog, the dog. I told you you were, to be this one. you were supposed to know because there was an origami dog earlier in the game. I believe, like I said, it was on the grave of John Shepard. You were supposed to remember that somehow. Dude, why are there all cranes in the room, but she says it's not her favorite one? Because her son's an asshole who makes her the origami she doesn't like just to tease her. That's what it is. Oh my god, of course it's the most complicated one. Look at this, there's 700 steps. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. Mm -hmm. He always wanted to call them Max. Ah. Max, Max, Max. Max Shepard. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. <laughs> but he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Interesting. Very interesting. What does that mean? It seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. Gotta find huh. something else to show her. Oh, huh, okay. What can I show her? No spoilers. I know some of you know what's coming. What the hell else is there in here? Nothing. Oh, wait. Yes. Oh, pimple! Oh my God! Uh, Gotta go get clear sill immediately. Yeah. Why the hell is this in the game? Why is she staring at her face? Why the fuck did she just look at herself in the exactly. mirror? Exactly. What's the point of that? <laughs> no, really. Starts popping zits in the hospital. <laughs> oh! Big explosion onto the mirror. Oh! It's a mini game. Actually, it's one of the it's one of the quick times. You got to do it right. <laughs> why the fuck was that in there? By the way, uh, BITW Awesome actually just made a very interesting observation that many of you might be catching on. You remember six weeks ago when we first started this playthrough? In the intro segment, it very creepily had people staring straight at the camera during the opening credits. You remember those people? Guess what? It's the cast of the game. It's all the supporting characters of the game that have been part of it are those people. You just don't realize it yet. Two of the kids are the kids who went missing. They're the kids who were murdered by the origami killer. This woman, the mother of John Shepard, is one of the people in the opening. So now go back and watch the opening again, and you're going to recognize people who were part of the game now. And you had no idea when the game booted that they were actually going to be important. Mind blown, brother. That's right. I'm going to get to make her oh, flowers. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. Ah. I know he'll bring me some. We gotta go steal those from the vase down the hallway. That's what I'm gonna do. The vase. Oh, wait, why did it say up? Oh. Yeah, so if you actually want to see the kid who was the son of the uh, store owner, remember the store owner when, uh, when Scott Shelby stops the robbery? So you get to see his kid alive in the opening ro crawl. You just don't know it's him. It's pretty creepy because then he's dead later on in the story. Like, oh, God, that's scary. What's this? What's this? What's this? Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? She already told you his name's Max. They're good little boys. No, they didn't. No, she didn't. She said Max is a dog. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Always doing amazing s somersaults and aerial stunts on construction sites unattended. <laughs> Should have joined the fucking circus. The amazing Shepherd Brothers, a great trapeze act. <laughs> Just don't go to be swimmers, that's all. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some flowers. <laughs> Steal them from down the hallway here. Oh, you heard what I said, right? I said, just don't try to be swimmers. Oh, that's fucked up. Yo. <laughs> so bad. That is so bad. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? Wow. It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. <laughs> wow. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Oh, man. I'm looking for her other son. 
He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No. There's nothing, yeah. really. Nothing about her family. Just a birth certificate. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. And her death certificate. We filled that out a little prematurely, but we're pretty sure. <laughs> Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. Oh, great. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. That's great, you just said that. You might get it to remember. Can go get fucking Thanks for the flowers. advice. And the music stops abruptly. <laughs> Excellent. Glitch. Come on, steal these flowers. Yeah, orchids. Yoink! Fuck you. Orchids. Alright, time to get my... $50 a pop orchids out of the hallway and hey, what the fuck? La, 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 la. A flower girl. I'm a pretty flower girl. What a lovely orchid. My son's loved orchids. Oh, yeah, shit. Che we Cheetah Man also just made an observation. He says, isn't this a hospital or is this supposed to be like assisted living? Again, in France, they probably don't even understand how we have healthcare here. This would not be a, a hospital is only there when you're in a, like a life or death situation and you're being treated or recuperating from like a, a surgery or a, a severe illness. She's not. She just has dementia. She would be in a long-term care facility, not a hospital. But again, I guess Quantic Dream didn't understand that. They misunderstood our healthcare system. Mr. Grove, I'm in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I cried when they told me I'd already lost one of my children huh? and now they were taking away another one, you understand? Oh, for adoption. Here it comes. Or were they just selling them on the black market? Oh! Oh! So now, now hold on a second here. Now I've got the evidence. I've had enough. Contact Stuttering Craig, that motherfucker, right, who a year ago during his interview was trying to tell me that I was making a racist joke during a playthrough that I made. I literally just made the same exact joke about children on the black market in 2010, and that was 12 years prior. It's the same joke. It has nothing to do with racism. Stuttering Craig is just a fucking asshole, all right? He fucking had to pull, pick that shit and try to pull a race card on me during an interview when it had nothing to do with reality. It's literally the same fucking joke 12 years before. I just reiterated it in a modern playthrough, and everyone said, Oh, in 2022, you can't say that anymore. Well, there you go, 100% evidence, and it's with a white child, not a black child, it's the same fucking joke that I made, alright? So there you go, there's your fucking evidence, I've had enough of that bullshit. What was the name of the foster family that adopted you? You could call me an asshole, you can call me uh, an e-beggar, you could call me irreverent, you could say that I've said awful things over the years, but the one thing you can never accuse me of is racism, because I've never been racist ever in my life. That's but bullshit. Shit houses. His name you is really very Max nice Shithouse. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. There we go. What, a, what a, a shitty time to, to split the part. Because if I didn't, it might have been too long for YouTube. But imagine if she said the name right there when I was splitting the part. That would have sucked ass. And I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. But I had must have thought I didn't love him anymore. I didn't. I was just ignoring him. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. Oh my God! She's fucking talking <laughs> way too much. Just give me the fucking name. Would you slap this bitch and to make Please, her tell you? Man. Oh! His name. What was his name? It was Bush. George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, she's gonna bite your face off. It's like some horror movie. She's gonna get possessed. Yeah, you could not, for, to my knowledge, you could not pause the cutscenes in this game. Maybe I'm wrong, but back then, in 2010, you couldn't really actively pause cutscenes to, to do like, to split apart anything like that. So, ooh, okay. I'll swallow your soul. Ooh? What? Oh my god! Told her, Hunter Biden. That's it. Well, she hasn't met Scott Shelby yet, so... 
This is a revelation for her, apparently. You really are the origami killer, Ethan. Right, oh, you don't you don't know what name she said. We have no idea what name she said. It's like they're even building more suspense. They don't let you audibly hear it, so now you don't know who she said the name is of the killer. Something. She didn't say anything. The name was Rubens. His full name was Paul Rubens. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Pee Wee Herman. What a reference there. He always wore the cutest little red bow ties. <laughs> The last letters, 961 uh -oh. Rainbow Lane. It's the final trial. Friday, 621. Now, Five here's the thing. He already failed trial four. If he failed trial four, does it matter if he passes trial five, right? Like, we don't know. Does it actually make a difference? Will he still have enough of the address to know where his son is being kept? Or is he screwed because he failed trial four? We don't know, right? Okay, anyway, this is a good spot to split the part. So far, the suspense is building even deeper. I hope that you are enjoying this final conclusion to Heavy Rain Retro React. I will see you in the next part.